guys, so recently you may or may not have seen Barbara the Persian Babe do um, a tag called Makeup Your Lookalike and I thought it was just a really fun uh, video to do. She actually did Kate Middleton who she does really look like and as a YouTuber I get so many comments of um, people that I look like so so many of you tell me I look like this person or this person and um, the majority of them I'd have to say are either Drew Barrymore or Keira Knightley and personally, personally I just don't see it at all. I wish I did it like both of them because they're both gorgeous. So I asked on Twitter which one you'd like to see me do and it was really close but I think Kira Knightley just edged it so today I'm going to kind of do one of her makeup looks. So obviously I really don't look like Kira Knightley at all. Maybe if I lost four or five stone and I was a bit skinnier then I might do slightly but I thought it'd be interesting to see if I was actually wearing one of her makeup looks how close we actually look to each other. So she doesn't really wear much makeup on a day-to-day -day basis so I'm going to go for one of her film premiere looks where she kind of mostly likes to wear a lot of smoky eyes and lots of eyeliner so that's what I'm going to recreate today. So I'm going to start by using the Lizelle Signature Foundation because it's got kind of a semi-matte finish and I think that's the look that Kira Knightley tends to go for. So I'm just going to kind of pop that all over. And then we're going to use the Origins Plant Scription Concealer just to get rid of any dark circles and blemishes and things. So I don't want to take too much glow out of my skin so I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder just to kind of like set everything in but it also gives a really nice radiance but without being too shiny. Now Kira's brows are quite impressive and mine don't quite match up to them but I'm just going to try and brush them up and fill them in, make them slightly bigger than usual. So I'm going to use the two colours that I always go for and they are MAC, Omega and Charcoal Brown. I'm just going to mix them together to get the perfect shade for my brows. So I've just made them a little bit straighter and a bit fuller as well. So in this look here has got a kind of really silvery grey smoky eye with a lot of black eyeliner kind of smudged around the lashes. So I'm going to start by using the number 7 Smoothing Eyeshadow in Pewter Shine. And this is a really good base so it's just going to have a little bit of a, a silvery grey tone to the eye. I'm just going to blend that in with my fingers. I'm also going to take a little bit of that under the eye. So before I start with any of the darker colours, I'm just going to put a little bit of a pinky, kind of champagne-y, shimmery highlight in the inner corner, because that's what it looks like she's wearing. So I'm going to start by taking Gun Metal from the Urban Decay Naked Palette, um, which is the one at the end. It's kind of like a, a bluey kind of grey colour. I'm just going to pop that on the inner part of my eye. And then on the same brush, I'm just going to use the next colour down, which is called Creep. It's just a bit of a darker grey. And that's going to go right on the outer corner. And then I'm going to really blend that edge. So I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom with both colours um, on this little pencil brush. So although the eye is quite dark and smoky, it does have a tiny bit of a lightness to it in the middle. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that inner corner highlight I used and just pop that with my fingers just in the centre of the eye. I'm just going to give the eye a little bit of warmth, so I'm going to use this bronzer here, which is um, the Instant Glow by 17, and just take that around the edges, and I find doing this doesn't give any extra colour, but it just kind of warms up a smoky eye, so if you're using quite cool tone colours, it looks really nice just to add a little bit of this in. 
and I'm going to do that underneath as well. So now onto the eyeliner, I'm going to use this Estee Lauder Double Wear Pencil because it's really smudgy and you can get a lot of kind of movement with it, so it's great for a smoky look. I'm going to take this really messily all around the lashes and underneath as well. And also onto the waterline. And then with my pencil brush and a little bit of that darkest colour, I'm just going to smudge it out. And then for mascara, I'm just going to use my favourite at the moment, which is the Clinique High Impact Extreme. This gives really big, thick, full lashes. So those are the eyes done, and now it doesn't really look like Kira's got much of anything on her cheeks, but she's definitely got something in the contours. So I'm going to use the same bronzer I used on my eyes, and I'm going to attempt to recreate her amazing cheekbones. And then as it looks like she's got next to nothing on blusher eyes, I'm going to use the Rimmel Santa Rose blusher, which is just a really natural kind of flush look. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that on. And then last of all lips, and she's got a really kind of peachy neutral colour, and I didn't have that sort of lipstick shade, so I'm going to mix two together. Um, so I'm going to start using Max Patisserie, which is kind of just a neutral kind of dark pinky colour. And then on top of that I'm going to use this Bourjois Rouge Edition, and this is in number three, and it's more of a light peachy shade. So that's the finished look guys and I hope you liked watching that. Please let me know if you think I look any more like her or less like her and I think it'd be really interesting to see what everybody thinks. I think this is such a great tag so I definitely encourage everybody to do one. I think it's just really interesting to see who people think they look like and who people say they look like and then once they're actually made up who they really look like. So thanks for watching guys and if you do try this tag definitely leave it as a video response below and I will see you all soon.